to around four days ago, whenever their government told me about their baking missiles. And it wasn't in the cocaine packet that I was trying to snort at the time. The government has broken missiles on the moon. They also have them on Earth and on Uranus and in Uranus. I mean, on. But, um, yes, we should destroy the bacon missiles. Because if we don't, the sea cows on the moon that are actually not sea cows, they're kind of land cows, but I like to call them sea cows because they live in the sea on the moon in one of the craters that's on the dark side of the moon that we can't see. But if we destroy the bacon missiles, we can save the sea cows. Yes, see that guy right there. He agrees, and that guy agrees. They two agree. We should, we should destroy. Yes, yes. Donations are highly welcome too. Five hundred. Donations are highly welcome. But yes, if we destroy the bacon missiles, if we destroy the bacon missiles and the banana missiles that the Chinese have, because the Chinese have different missiles, because theirs are shaped oddly like bananas and ours are shaped oddly like bacon. I don't see how that's aerodynamic, but it is. But once we do that. We destroy the bacon missiles, we go to China, and then we sabotage their banana missiles. Because if we don't sabotage their banana Dude, missiles... this guy? He's blabbing such bullshit, man. Yeah, Listen to him, people true. love it. That you, even, that you even rub it, screw your time for this. It's true. I'm he who tells the truth. It's true. Is it? Yeah, he calls himself of he who tells the truth. Who says that he's telling the truth? You said to you tell him the truth. truth. No, I say you call yourself he who tells the truth. That doesn't say I mean I know that you do. Prove it to me. Alright, go fly to the moon. There's breaking missiles. And sea cows. Exactly. Tell something so, I don't know that's true. Um um, um, bacon and sea cows on the moon. There's bacon farms. Prove it. You go fly up there. I don't want to fly just yet. I need more followers. And then we will fly to the moon. He, he, he's rubbish. I can tell you a lot more. One he plus one is two. Truth. No, oh, oh he's making the same truth. One plus one is two. But 1 plus 1 is also 10. Depending on which... Oh, you are making me lose followers. I'm like losing one every time you open your mouth. Alright, now back to the banana missiles. He must be working for the government. I think he's working for the government. He's here to sabotage my speech. But, after we destroy the banana missiles in China that I don't know how we're going to do. We'll probably throw a sea cow at it. He will have to sacrifice his life for the entire country. But, but yes, um, after we destroy the banana missiles, which are extremely powerful, they are like 30 billion gajillion megaton bacon missiles. And, and, and a bacon missile is like 30 bajillion gazillion nukes. And so, yes, there are like a lot of bacon missiles, which are a lot of nukes. So, after we destroy their banana missiles, we will fly to the moon, and we will take our sea cows, and put them back on Earth. And then we will fly to Uranus, inside of it, I mean, on it, and we will, and we will totally destroy those missiles as well. Because if we don't destroy those missiles, then, then the rare sea cow Asian race of bacony will be destroyed, because they're on Pluto, and that's what the government wants to cover up. It's a long, massive conspiracy theory that stretches back as far as caveman times with the first bacon missile. It was made out of rocks, and they kind of looked like bacon missiles. And so now they call them bacon missiles. You, sir, are staring at me. I don't like that. You might be working for the government. Go ahead and take three. I'm staring at you. We're going to stay here for a while. I'm staring at you, or I'm staring at you. Am I working for the government? Why Some are stage you on my stage? Get off my stage! Well, just once we destroy Five the making of banana missiles and we save our sea cows on Pluto, we will then bring water back to Mars, because the, the Martians once lived there on Mars, 
But the government didn't want them there because they knew too much about the plans of the banana Why? missiles and the banking missiles. Yeah. You are interrupting me. I will get down there and punch you in the head. Why? All that. Now, where was I? Somewhere back. around Pluto. Yes. Do not All interrupt right. him. After we deliver the water back to Mars, which will take quite a while and a lot and a lot and a lot of shipments of flying ships. Yes, yes, then, it's all true. Yes, we will then restore our life there by going to Uranus and taking the magical sea cow unicorns and putting them back on Mars where they once belonged. And then they will fart out pixie dust and we will forever have eternal life just like Jesus <laughs> did because he saved the bacon cow missiles. And we will have eternal life just because we did that. And it's going to take one to three, five, maybe 30 billion years to do all this, but it is worth it. We just have to go to Pluto, which is still a planet, and and take and take stuff from there back to Mars and put the farting pixely stuff on Mars. I'm planning out my thing, what do you want? Any nuts? Yes, I do. I have permission from the bacon gods and the sea cow Jesuses. I I can be here. This man is my recorder. Now, if you want something to do with that chair, no, I'm not. I am the man who tells the truth. By the way, you're about to get shot multiple times in the chest. Ah! 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 Well. The ballistic bacon missiles. The ballistic I bacon missiles. They're trying again. to kill me because of the ballistic bacon missiles. I saved you. I saved you. My God. Thank you. Sir, please get off the stage. Hello, guys. Look on the roof. Don't worry. Look get down. Roof. Unless you want to help me with the ballistic bacon missile sea cow unicorn hey. thing. Are you gonna help us with our plan? Larry swims with buffaloes? <laughs> well, you should. Because <laughs> if you do. Yes! Like. Yeah. CS bueno! CS bueno! CS like mucho you're bueno! It looks like you're hit. Yeah, it looks like you're a hitman and you're like. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm a hitman. He understood what I said. But, once we get the ballistic bacon missiles, and we return everybody back to their natural home planets, which will take about 5 billion years, we will then give them technologies such as iPods and Contutors and Trushkoons and Chopstooks. Once we do that, we will then supply them what about with a the lifelong supply of Jesus water, which is not water that I peed in and called lemonade, but it rejuvenates your soul. So, <laughs> after we do that, we will then move on back to Earth, which will have been overgrown because the government was testing their overgrowing capacity of bacony missile-like things and want to grow bacon missiles instead of having to build them, which are strangely still not actually bananas or bacon. So, yeah. Don't think they do. They just look like it. They aren't actually bacon. Now, after we do that, we will then have to sabotage their bacon and banana missiles. Holy crap. After we do that, we will then rebuild our automobiles, reinvent the wheel, and it will now be a square. So we will get a lot less miles per gallon on the road. And why is this guy trying to... Sir, the stage. After that... Get off the stage. After that happens. I'm um, sorry, so, so what's, what's your favorite color? I'm sensing Mark spam. Hey, dude, your don't, don't color? fucking... Larry, don't do that, that's Mark spam. So, what's your favorite yes, color? it is. My favorite color is... Uh, hmm. I shot. 
It would probably um, be... No? Hmm. Um... I don't know, actually. I guess, I guess uh, let's just go ahead and say black. Well, that kind of sucks. Well, you know what else color sucks? Your mom. Hey, bacon.